Thanks. Hey, what's going on? Uh, Rob here. You're watching Ma'am vs. Pin, uh, and today we're taking uh, the old feather bowl for a spin. A ton of you suggested it, uh, liked it up, so here we are. And I know that I said I was probably never going to make another bowl here on this channel, but I'm a liar, okay? Just a, a liar. All right, things we need. Uh, glue, balloons, and feathers. Holy f***ing feathers. Look at all these. Huh? This is a racket right here. Oh, you know what? If I got a feather boa and wrapped that around a bowl, now we're talking. We got glue over here. Yeah, Mod Podge. I said it right. All right, I've looked around this entire store and they have absolutely no balloons. What kind of f***ing craft store is this? Plenty of pumpkins, no balloons. I mean, there's a couple cool things here. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Which better have my candy? Actually, I do need a couple of these. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to Target. Here we are. Balloons. Check. And a beer called Jam Band. Check. You guys, I was just about to leave, but I can't came across this. Zima. What are you drinking? Zima. Zima. I don't know if you know about Zima. Wow. <laughs> but you're gonna learn a thing or two. Oh yeah. Cheers. Uh, welcome back uh, to the, the Threadbanger headquarters, the cave. <coughs> does this video contain alcohol? Yes, it does. Mm. Oh, fucking Zima. Woo. That's a refreshing citrus beverage. That takes me back to a time when we didn't know a lot about alcohol. All right, we got all the things. We got the feathers, way too many feathers. I just went f***ing nuts with the feathers. We got a feather boa, which I'm thinking about doing something with. Uh, Mod Podge brushes bullshit. Uh, tape. Uh, you're probably wondering why there's tape here. For a couple reasons. One, we need it for the project, but uh, another one of you suggested that I do the no thumbs challenge, which I am going to gladly accept. Partially on the fact that I am a, I don't know, a bull god? I don't think this is gonna be a problem. So I'm gonna take these little uh, these little bad boys up right here. All right, that is nice and secure. All right, got it, got it, not a problem. All right, no thumbs. I can hold the camera, all right? I don't think this is gonna be too big of a deal. Now that I think about it, I don't know if I remember how to make a bowl. Right, hold on, what do you do? All right, so the feather bowl. It's an elusive project that's been on Pinterest for a while. There's really only this one image of it and it has absolutely no DIY attached to it. There's no explanation anywhere. So we're really just going off of uh, basic general bowl knowledge. First thing is first, balloons. No problem. Start off with a little pink over here. <sighs> Tying a balloon. Oh, f Wrap it around. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Yeah, buddy. Uh-huh, oh yeah. Now what? All right, we're going for one more. Not so big this time. Boom. Nope. <laughs> Fuck. Excuse me. Pull it, push it through with this finger. Boom, just like that. That wasn't too bad. And now you take the, <laughs> now you take the balloon and you put it on top of the jar. Okay, that rests on there. And then you take your tape, tape it down on the bottom. So far, so good. Check that out. That's not going anywhere. Next up, you get your Mod Podge here. Twist cap, no fucking problem. Cut that shit open. Now, just give this balloon an overall coat. It's like some Bob Ross shit right here. This is looking great. Now that you got your first uh, layer here, you're ready to party. Mm. Ain't no party like a Zima party, y'all! <laughs> for this first bowl, I'm just going for like an all white. I know that sounds racist, but it's not. Impressed yet? And now you just take your feather, cover it. Doesn't seem to be sticking very well. No, no, no. All right, feather one, not so much. Okay, not annoying at all. Uh, so the trick here that I'm learning, uh, you need to break them a little bit. So you just kind of shape them beforehand and then you plop them down. And now you just, yeah, that's the technique. And boom, look at that. It's a, that's a feather on a balloon. Thumbless guy over here making feather bowls. No biggie. Feather after feather, mother <laughs> feather. Uh, this is the uh, boring part of the video where I just glue feathers onto a bowl with no fucking thumbs for the next 40 minutes. Maybe an hour, I don't know. Six hours later. Now I'm just going ape shit. I'm just gonna throw a bunch more feathers on top. That's oh, my eye, the feathers are in my eye. Ugh, it's like bird shit in, in this feather. And then once all that's on there, you just kind of put another layer of glue on there. You know what I mean? It's art, really, is what it is. When you're trying to justify uh, that it looks like shit, just call it art. <laughs> that doesn't look good. All right, I got one more attempt here. I got this feather boa. I'm gonna try this other stupid 
and things. Get it, got it, good. Throw this into here. Tape it down fucking really well. This makes a little bit more sense. <coughs> I just threw up a little bit because I got a feather in the back of my throat. <clears> throat> oh. What do they have there? That was some ramen. Yeah, it was good. It was actually pretty good. I'll be back. I need another f***ing Zima after that. Whew. And now I'm just mod podging the sh** out of this glue, just getting a thick layer of glue here. You ready? Everybody watching? Check this out. Start with the end and then you just wrap that sh** around huh look at that look at that huh that looks a hell of a lot better that's some smart shit right there so that's it uh that's what we're looking at we're headed out and i let these things dry i'm taking the rest of my zima with me the next day all right checking back in next day let's see how these things turned out oh fuck yeah look at this already i can see it let's start off with this one we'll snip right there here we go look at that boom and feather bowl sits upright takes the bowl shape no problem this could also be like a, a hat too could be a little wig this is a good diy boom now it's a bowl pretty impressed if you aren't there is something seriously wrong with you moving on to the next bit of bullshit. this i mean this is art this is something special all right are we ready do a little snippity doodah over here you know what that sound means. We got ourselves a bowl. Look at this. This isn't bad either. I had my doubts. Wow. No way. That's cool. It's terrible actually looking, but check that out. I honestly thought I needed to use another picture for the thumbnail, but this is, this is it. It's got an artistic flair to it, you know? This is some Smithsonian shit right here this is something you see in uh castles on tables in fine dining restaurants you know what i mean mm -hmm. two perfect bowls no thumbs made these i made these with a grand total of eight fingers and they turned out remarkable guess who won that no thumb challenge this guy yeah i always thought that you know i could go into some kind of bowl business just with as much skill as I've acquired, this very well may be the catalyst. I can start an Etsy page up and everything. I'm gonna go start an Etsy page up. Ooh, store name, store name. Uh, Zart. Huh? Pretty clever. No. Already taken. Bizarre. What do you think about that? Oh. Somebody already has that? Bizart. We got a winner! I'm gonna take some pictures of this thing and get started. Drop that picture in there. Ooh, how much? How much? What's the price tag on that? $3,700, right? That's art. Boom, posted. I'm gonna put this one up there next. This is an easy 15 hundo. All proceeds go to charity, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know what I mean. Do me a favor, uh, don't buy, <laughs> don't buy those. But do uh, subscribe to this channel. Leave any bowl suggestions that you have down in the comments below. That goes for any DIY project, uh, quite frankly. Halloween. That's that's coming. Leave suggestions for that as well. Like up this video, even if you didn't, I'm not gonna tell anybody. And I'll see you around here next time. Can't forget to take these with me. Boom.